farther. But we're just gonna get started here. We got a Shaheen and Jack A. This is an interesting matchup on you. What do you think? Been learning a lot from our local Boston player, Shane uh, Jam. He's been showing us the will of the way, breaking guard, a lot of specialty moves that only Shaheen has, and just as I said, it takes the first round. Sí, ya se nos fue así bien rápido. Vámonos pues que viene con todo este Shaheen. Ojalá que tenemos mix up, nada. We have the string. Okay, let's go. Oh no, the weird wall spot. We cannot do the tornado. Farad trying to come in here. Oh, nice try for the step and the launch. It's not going to work though. Ooh, was that a 10 hit? All right, let's go for the pokes, the pressure. Vamos pues con el medio. Que lo lleva Christian. Jack not being able to set up anything long term here, anything more than 15 frames not working, the quick jabs and the counters working out well. <laughs> and you know what, if down forward one works, you just keep throwing it until it doesn't. And we have Shaheen taking the offense back and looking for a long center. And ooh, just with the psychic read with the hop kick and it's gonna carry all the way to the corner. And we do convert those, this is a great pull by Shaheen. And looking to keep him on the win, but Jack is stepping very well. And just again looking just for quick pokes to establish anything he can to get on there. And just as quick while standing too, carrying it all. Can we take this to the corner? Get that max damage? Yes. Ah, and just a hard press and a quick punish to end out that easy round. Así es, está yendo muy fuerte este Jack. Pero vámonos pues. Commentary is a little quiet. Okay, okay, we can we can put up my my volume and we can put up her volume too. Alright, we're tweaking it up. How's that now? Yes, is that better you guys? I hope it is, but let's continue with the with the action here with the esporting. Ooh, okay, let's go. Got plenty of plus frames here, and just like that, with the low, Christian is gonna take the first match. Especially in Heat Smash form because He's going to break your guard, so there's going to be no incentive to not press buttons unless other players. You know, taking your turn back from Shaheen is always a question mark, throwing it up. I haven't seen any slide mix-ups yet, but Jack finally getting the pressure and getting the rush down that he needs. Getting the shoulder charge, getting positive, but Shaheen just countering very quickly, bringing it to the wall, and yes, we get those. Wondering what the Oki is going to be. Jack smartly sits there and waits. Good job by Christian, baiting out to see what Shaheen's going to go for. And there's that guard break, not once, but twice. But no finish or follow-up on that, but the Heat Smash is taking full advantage takes the dash out and Jack 8 is looking to pull him back throws to the corner even though we have the breaks but Shaheen with the surf slide setup and going low for the first time closing out that round all right I'm gonna switch how you like Shaheen no great no cozy no no coziness today hey Sonic what's up welcome hello hello Barry how are you Ooh, okay We're doing plenty of damage with this combo here vamos a darle pues yeah, Sonic has it right. Against Jack, you have to press a button. It's really scary because if you get hit, that's a full combo. Ooh, okay, nice conversion out the wall. Vamos a presionar aquí, pero parece que se nos fue missing. Por qué miedo? Ooh, vale, es el Wii Fast. El Wii Punish, that was such a good Wii Punish. And it's gonna close the round. Doing great, doing great. Thank you, Lord Drip. Okay, moving in, and there's the slide, the free follow-up. Be careful on wake up, a Shaheen slide always gets that every time. You press buttons, you can be setting yourself up for a bigger combo. Pressing the advantage and checking on the throw, not able to break them. <laughs> Baiting a little bit of slide with a double crouch, maybe not a taunt, more of just looking for a reaction from Jack. And Shaheen is taking control back. And now we're back to small tech in on Jack and Nate. And as soon as he goes in, the hop kick is perfect. Kind of similar to a Claudio and the slide with the free follow-up closes the round. Así es, nos fuimos pues. Mira aquí Shaheen con los mix-ups. Uf, bueno, ya viene la Big Boot. Nos quitamos bien el agarre. All right, the stunning four. No, okay. Ooh, what a whiff on it. Okay, let's go. The hop kick combo. Vámonos hasta la pared. Con vaso. Mira nada más. Qué bonito se ve ese string de Shaheen. Ese nuevo movimiento también me da miedo. Aquí ya resultó embarrado en la pared. Podría ser que aquí se acaba. 
se lleva el round y lo empata y no le falta un pixelito de vida nada más viene con el mix up que buen bloque no alcanza a castigar bien pero tampoco free si castiga all right let's go with that kick he's gonna take it one one it's all tied up now this is the first two kind of a move where pressed against the wall with no frame advantage a uh, great block from Shaheen coming in, but let's see how both players can make an adjustment and pull this in for the final set. Ah, oh, Shaheen with the counter hit, taking it all the way to the wall, and want to see this Oki again. Jack knows to step up quickly and just take that block. And ah, oh, two steps back and a back four, and taking it against the wall. No follow -up combo, but enough to get that counter hit. That's round one. Ok, muy bien, vámonos, pues que parece que Shaheen ya se está acomodando. Ya se está alistando para llevarse la pelea. Vamos a ver si puede seguir con este momentum y si tiene un launcher. Alright, we get into the wall. Very good wall carry right there, just with the down for one, keeping it simple. Uf, ok, but presses in the middle of the string. Da un poco de miedo, da un poco de miedo. Castigamos y ahora sí castigamos. Uf, vale. Vamos un poquito de espacio, como que quiere entrar, como que no, como que no se deja, puros pokes chiquitos. Todo, todo muy simple. Castiga eso. Muy bien el castigo y ahí está. Dos rounds para Freezy. As I've learned, the down three with Shaheen is sometimes a little bit of a safer way to bait someone into thinking you're going for that full slide commit. Sometimes a, a down float or full crouch two looking for it. And yes, uh, you can donate to the prize pool. I'm sure Anya can tell us more about, I believe we have a Macharino link uh, set up for this. And I think Shaheen's going to just take this pressure against the wall and hits with the mid crush to finish it out. Yes, the Freezy takes it to the Oh, now I'm a big fan of all these specialty skins and Anya is seeing an Anya here with an Anya skin from Spy X Family. We have Reyna against Victor, a uh, gray air player. who had the chance and the pleasure to play against Victor earlier in this tournament. Uh, very, very good movement and always great decision making. But I mean, when you're more than two or three dashes away, Victor's gonna get that running two going. Uh, no punishes on the armor here. This is a key part to take advantage against a Victor matchup, otherwise, he's gonna run wild. But speaking of another character that runs wild, that's Reyna's whole core offense going into stance, getting the untackable throw, and just taking it all the way to the wall. Victor looking for some explosions, something to really swing the momentum. One more for the rest of his heat gauge. And the running two takes advantage, and all that health left away as Gray takes the first round. Alrighty, ya tenemos todo ya acomodado. Nos vamos aquí con un poco de presión. Presión de Victor, pero ya tenemos un launcher para Reina. Upa, les combato, claro que sí. Uy, no sabía que se hacía al carry así. Alright, necesitamos un poquito de espacio, más presión. Power Crush. Uf, uh, vale, esa explosión. Explosión en Power Crush, ok, claro que sí, ¿por qué no? Oh my god, not the mix up. So ah. scary. <laughs> just roll, it works. If it works, it works. If she rolls twice, you're running out of luck. If she rolls again, you're out of luck. <laughs> This great setup by Reyna. Victor looking to take the aggression right back, but rolling on the ground with the counter hit and the full combo extension. Can we make this work? Oh. Power crush, running right back in. Both players just really, really looking to say, I'm coming in and you have to block this mix up. Uh, these panic buttons aren't going to work on these setups, and just the down forward one taking it convincingly. Oh, the throw and the setup. That's the online setup, whether you're a warrior rank all the way up to God of Destruction. The command grab will get you every time. Victor running away with this offense. Reyna looking to just get a little bit of a spin Sentai, but the perfect closes it out. There we go. We're, gonna, we're going straight up to the next one. Vamos a darle pues, chicos. Ya me estoy acomodando. Parece que ya llegó el, el oso que andaba perdido. Ese Noctis me ganó a puro... ¿Cómo que Noctis? No lo conocía y no sabía que podía... On Rival, thank you so much for the gift of sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. ¿Cómo así, Fausto? ¿Qué pasó? Uf, vale, no, pues no se deja. Termina siendo agarrada y con el perfect. Let's go. 
Victor in life stance, you have to eat that mix-up, especially if he gets the gunshot or the plus frames into it. There's just nothing you could really do other than taking some armor through it. And Reyna, knowing she has to react quickly, starts off with the counter hit and just runs wild with it. Goes for the high flying kick and gets punished. Uh, pushing through armor but gets interrupted. And the launcher from Victor. The gunshot stance with a sidewall carry. Showing very, very good knowledge to extend these combos. And just a simple low heat smash ender, putting it on match point for Rápidamente ya estamos aquí en set point para Grey. Vamos a ver si se lo lleva aquí con todos estos mixos loquísimos. Sigue vivo Agni, sí, sigue en Lucer, en Lucer top 8. Uf, vale, es un poquito de espacio aquí, intentamos hacer power crush, no hay castigo, qué miedo, pero bueno, con el overhead y el perfect, Grey se lo lleva 2 a 0. Ya, 2 a 0, right quick. You can tell me that this character is at the bottom, tier lists don't matter in this game, only offense does. It's all about knowledge and what you can do, and a high rank Leo against a high rank Kuma is going to be an exciting match. And Leo starts with the scoops and showing us how to do those KNK cancels all the way to the wall, and just pushing it in stance until you figure out the forward 4 mix-up, it's going to continue to happen. Oh, an unsafe string ender, maybe looking to catch them off guard, and punished with the launch but no full combo. They are running with all of those death fists. Very scary, using all of that bar. And with the heat, looking to finish it, just a simple back two combo. That's round one. Vámonos, pues aquí con el siguiente match. Aquí le tengo mucho miedo al oso, digan. El limo de pito. ¿Te gustó? Ahí está. <laughs> all right, all right, let's do it. Oh, okay, going for the low option. Oh no, not the grab, it doesn't work. The mix up, okay. We got some pressure going here. Oop, el power crush, que bonito, que chulo. Viene el oso con el ciego low, que pues no se ve tan bien online, la verdad. Es que da miedo. Y se hace key charge, oh my god. <laughs> Hey, sometimes I just throw the key charge with June just to see her laugh, but great starting combo here with Kuma. We're gonna see it rolls every time he goes into stance or goes low. It's a very scary high-low mix-up. <laughs> and of course the good butt combo. And all of those Mishima fists running and still with just a sliver of heat left. Yes, we use it to close out the round. Okay, perfecto. A ti te regalaron sub, a ti siempre te regalan sub fasto, yo no sé cómo le haces. Let's go ver Rancio. Nada más quiere hacer Keychars este ver. Oye, pero ya no le baila tanto. Como que le falta más, más baile. Alright, let's go. Vamos a ver aquí el Power Crush. No sirve. Oh, qué buena opción. Ese string de Leo. Ahí está el bailecito. Como que nos escuchó. Y ah, aquí les voy a aventar un baile. I was just saying that where's the dance. Because I, I knew this very player from Tekken 7. And they used to dance a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. Woo, okay. We got the... We got the combo. The wall was not good here. Oh my god, and the rage oh. It had to be the rage and that's gonna close the round. That's gonna close the first match. Slate is winning 1 0. This is still first to two on our winner side, and we just got a contribution to the prize pod. Thank you so much for your donations. Slade really showing the difference in saving the heat and really using it to its maximum advantage. And two of those rounds using the very, very end heat ender after all those Mishima fists to just relentlessly pressure and chip. Leo starting off well, just pushing the offense immediately. And, and really showing kind of a knowledge check in the different mix-ups in stance. And Bear finally backing off the Mishima Fists, but taking it. The 1-2 and the butt rolls, we love to see it. And of course, using the heat and saving it for the very, very end. Looking for that one closer, but counter hit Leo. Oh, just the whiffs and the full extension using that buff. And forced to hold the end of that heat, but gets the wall standing too. Looking dangerous against the wall. Leo coming back and taking round one. Aquí viene el Leo respondiendo. No se quiere dejar del oso que baila. Uh, vale. 
poquito de plus frame. Vamos a ver qué hace. Nada, que siempre quiere hacer el agarre. Y el agarre se agacha y se launchea. No hay que dejar que te muerde el oso. Alright. Aquí un splat. Lo deja bien embarrado. Uf, les miren nada más cuánto daño. Vamos a ver aquí qué hace. Nada. Un mix up no, porque qué, qué rancho es esas bird pistons. What was that? Those bird pistons were not it, but it's all good. It's all good. Two rounds for Mr. Sandwich. Yeah, we saw that in the very first round of this match too, just letting the full launch combo rip and Leos not missing a launch punish any time. And the momentum and kind of the offensive pressure is kind of pushed back in Leo's favor. You know, starting the match, or at least this set off with a good launcher, and then suddenly getting all of the moves in. It looks like we're getting some downloading here. Even the 1 plus 2 just getting stuck right in reaction. And the ground wake of game, not seeing too much of that from Slade, but you know, that's when you least expect it, that's when it's coming out. Brand new heat extension, and yes, punishing the heat. Day, this is still winner's side, but let's go, let's keep going. Round one. Yeah, we're 1-1, one, one, and, and now we have to see what comes in starting the round off the old school way. Just hop, kick in, and pressing heat, looking for that full wall extension, a little short on the wall splat. But Leo smartly staying down, getting the command grab, and turning the tables very quickly. The wall standing 1-4-1, showing just how dangerous Leo is in the corner. And letting the fish rip, not this time. Great blocking, great understanding where the meter is. And Leo not afraid to push back, especially after all these options. And burning the heat a little oh early, and oh no! <laughs> The rage! Saving the day. Let's see the damage. That's gonna be a counter hit too. That's gonna do a lot of damage. And it's gonna give the Oki mix up. Well. Oh, looking for the spring kick, and that was not the answer, but I love the idea that's coming from Leo. Sorpresa. Oh my god, tenemos ahí los folks. Si pega no es rancio, no, yo siento que sí es rancio, yo creo que como que Raw Rachel siempre es rancio. <risa> como que es una técnica rancia independientemente de que funcione o no. Uf, vale, es ok. Vamos a ver aquí los Bird Electrics. Ok, we stop there to go for a mix up instead. Oh, that breaks so hard, you gotta, you gotta stop that, you gotta stop that. Ah! Oh no, not the church low. Oh, nice. Block in the, with the wall standing for hours. I wasn't sure if that was going to be enough, but it is. I was going to say, uh, Leo's been doing a great job of blocking these special lows from Kuma and, you know, punishing them with a launcher, but not the one time they needed it. But getting the full combo and, oh, just missing the touch on the end. And everyone seems to be going for bigger launchers. The one plus two out of stance. Armor into stance. Leo getting the full charge, looking even more dangerous. Having a few options, including the sweep extension, but taking the round convincingly. All right, vámonos pues ya aquí empezamos el round con una bear hop kick. Claro que sí, nos vamos a ir hasta la pared. All right, let's go. Tenemos ahí el coletazo asegurado. Ay, esa, esa garra cargada como me asusta. Igual es que buen agache y yeah, that was such a good dog with the punish and everything. Full combo. Ooh, that was a spicy combo. Alright, tenemos aquí flow para el bear. Esto podría ser todo, a lo mejor. Ah, no, ya no tiene recursos, no tiene nada, pero sí tiene ahí un bear roll sorpresa. <laughs> and that is Slade is gonna take it two to one. Moving on to winners finals. <laughs> yeah, we're starting out here. Let's go, let's do it. Round one with the perfect customization, of course, is kind of famous already for being one of our favorites. Uh, running in the running two and setting up and not afraid to go for that launcher. Eto sitting there waiting to set up that offense. A few risky pokes and maybe some lightning to the sky. And just normal grab pushing. And a beautiful fly dodge and punish gets the heat engaged. And now we have lasers and now we have offense. But getting quickly shut down by the running two and letting the heat smash rip. It lands and this can be anyone's round. Aha! Looking for the falling grab. The up 3-4 is not enough. And Devil Jin taking the first round. Alright, vámonos pues. Si está chulo el traje 
The Dragonite looks a funny costume. All right, the running punch. All right, let's go. More pressure here. Oh, yeah, we just big esporting today. Hey, thanks for the follow, guys. Welcome. Ooh, nice launcher. Nos vamos aquí con, con algunos mix-ups. El counter hit bien, viene Loki. Uf, vale, ya aprendimos el hit y que se va a aventar. Yo siento que se va a aventar el hit smash, así nada más. Uf, vale, pero Oblik ya no lo deja y se lleva el round. Yeah, starting the offense and taking pretty much 75% of Eto's health and then coming back from Devil Jin. Great poise from Dragonoff to take that round back, especially with the power crush in the face of Devil Jin's heat. And taking the combo all the way to wall and finally landing the grab. The Devil Jin looking to take back small pokes. Down forward three, and Dragonoff takes it right back with just down forward one, simple jab pressure, and with the read and the heat, takes round three. Se está viendo muy bien aquí el Ogni, pero bueno, empezando aquí esto con unos eléctricos y con un combazo de eléctricos. Uf, vale. La presión, los plus mix, pero como que no está funcionando porque no hay mix-up. No se está agachando ese Devil Jin. Uf, vale, aquí viene la dive kick, que es hit engager, ok. Vámonos pues, ok, I'll hydrate. El mix-up no se deja y Ogni sale castigado. Shoutouts to the hydrate, and this can go any way this final round. Trying to start off big just like the first round with a flying launcher here from Devil Jin. And slowing it down, getting that jab pressure back, and getting just the normal throw. I love the mix-up from Ogni. Great movement. Both players really expecting each other now and looking for the down back two on Devil Jin, the running two, the bravery to go through Devil Jin's heat, looking to keep him from letting it rip. What do we got on Wake Up? Just some good running two pressure. Knowing to keep anything to keep that heat smash from coming. I love to see the lockdown. Octi doing a great job. There's the manual fly, no punish, and the rage art, and it goes through the running. I think that's gonna be it. This is a wonderful first match in this set. I think we're gonna go to the final, final round again. Yeah. Tweets to Verata. And oh, let's get right into this match. We got set number two. Uh, Eto taking the first one, went down to the final, final round. And we're looking more of the same of what we saw work for Acne originally. Good stepping, good quick pressure. You gotta keep Devil Jin from playing these big moves. And Devil Jin looking right back with the 1 1 2, letting it go. And especially in this stage with such tight corners, any combo is a wall carry, and that's a present for Dragonoff. But speaking of presents, Eto taking the first round. Alright, vamos a como que Ogni ya no se está adaptando, lo veo medio trabado, ya le están pegando aquí todos los eléctricos, tantísimo pollo, qué miedo. Uy, se nos fue el combo que no pasa nada. Oportunidad para Ogni para hacer algo aquí, pero parece que está atrapado en la pared, se quiere salir y nada, que lo launchean. Tantos combos dropeados. Ok, tenemos mix up, tenemos strings, tenemos plus frames, pero ¿qué hacemos con los plus frames? ¿Qué hacemos con los plus frames? Uf, vale, una flotada. Aquí se puede morir. ¿Será que Reichard? No quiso Reichard. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Si nos acomodamos, nos gastamos el hit and the grab. ¿Es que no va a Oh, yeah, we break the leg and that's the round for Acne. Dragon off tackle, just all these options. And even scary if you don't get that one two break or if it's in heat, it's guaranteed. Loving the running pressure. If Eto doesn't have a way to interrupt, these running twos are just going to keep pushing positive frames. And the counter hit, but no combo drop, taking the quick finisher. <laughs> and the sneak into tackle, love to see the ideas here. And staying down, but running two will still hit you on the ground. Pulling up with the normal throw, the Acne special, and doing it again, suddenly changing this match completely. And Devil Jin scary and heat smash and with psychic timing lets it rip and takes the round back. Santo pollo, ya es la última oportunidad de Orkney aquí porque si no, esto se lo lleva. Uf, vale, si empezando bien con un counter hit. Vamos a ver pues que puede hacer Orkney aquí en la pared. So scary. 
Oh my god, we gotta, we gotta punish that, we gotta punish that. Se muere el Ogni, ya se está muriendo el Ogni, qué miedo. Tal vez aquí se puede morir, vamos a ver cómo convierte este combo. Igual es un pixel, no, nada, no le quedó nada con esos rayos láser y se muere. Se muere Ogni y avanza Eto. You see on my laptop here, I see Christian and Gray on the prediction. Oh, you do? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. It didn't let me. It kept giving me error, but it worked. Okay, let's go. It worked. Vámonos aquí, pues, que ya tenemos combazo. Shoutouts to the customizations, the Leon, and I guess just the military, unless that's also a spy family reference. Getting the break. Can we get this carry? Can we get a second break? And what do we have in store for the rest of this combo? Oh, yeah, we definitely practice those. Ooh, pixels away from the finish. And the power crush pushing away into the running two, taking a gunshot, and Victor with the sword out showing how scary it is, but Christian knows what to do. Great break from Gray and just the simple sweet finisher. That is our first round. Vámonos pues que no. O sea, todos los monos hombres se les puede poner ese traje o qué de Leon. Ok, tenemos launcher para Christian. Get to the wall. Ufale, sí, ya, ya perdió a Ogni. Uy, ok. Tenemos mucha presión y aquí lo embarran la pared y lo mata fácil. <laughs> yes, Jack showing the perfect programming. <laughs> looking for the high-low mix-up and delaying the timing, one of the first times of seeing it working really well to stuff Jack's low. And with the wall carry and the shoulder charge and the full explosion, extending with the heat and backing off, which is kind of perfect range for Victor. Like I said, running two is just the answer sometimes. Very hard to step, very hard to do much against it. The beautiful duck and ending that heat smash an explosion always worth the chip even if it doesn't fully land and the offense getting the heat dash and the rage very smart will it be enough hmm enemy sword not enough let's see how we can close this out and victor with the simple standing one one mix up hay que hacer los movimientos rápidos para cerrar el round muy bien ahí en Victor. Entramos aquí en Hit. Intenta hacer un poquito de presión, pero Jack no se deja. Se zafa con ese Power Crush y ahora Victor se zafa con el Power Crush. Loving the Victor Majima costume. Wait, what? I thought this was Leon. I thought it was Resident Evil 4. That was a big combo. Jeez. That was, that was, that was incredible. But if this is Yakuza, then I will learn. <laughs> and as Speed Kicks point out, why did we allow this person to bring a gun and a sword to the knife fight? Yoshimitsu only gets to bring one weapon, not two. <laughs> and the running two, showing it back great, knowing the, the string pressure and blocking the low. Full throw and explosion, just always looking to push for big damage. The armor into heat engage, missing the command grab. Victor committing again to the same low ender, and Victor throws no longer unblockable, but still doing the work. That is our first set. Surprise bot, and that's going straight to our top three players for the tournament. <laughs> All right, this is same stage, first round. As we were learning in our locals in the new Tekken World Tours, getting random or sticking every time, and a great counter hit, getting the full carry and the combo. Gray looking really sharp, not missing any of these punishes. The wall push, the heat extension on the combo, and taking the mid high and pushing the armor. Very small punish from Jack. You really got to take advantage of those situations, but an explosion takes the round. Vámonos, vámonos, pues. Aquí en ya como que ya, ya se ve más, más ansioso de que ya se quiere llevar unos rounds porque no lo está dejando el Victor. All right, we're just making some space out here. Uy, vale, explosión, vámonos, pues. Uy, el mix-up nada, no funciona. Ooh, okay, let's go. Ooh, nice. Yeah, 
ass. We're we're all the way with Gray at Tep Tech and Emperor rank, and we're still just looking for explosions just to have them. And the wonderful duck by Christian, knowing to punish that power armor and getting it all the way for the wall combo. Getting the heat engage and getting right into it. Breaking the guard and letting it rip, which also gives the wall break. We're gonna continue on. We're gonna get another one. Yes, we are. And how are we gonna close this out? With the straight Ooh. kick and tornado oh, no. and oh the shoulder. Not enough. Great, great adjustment in taking the throw break, especially after dropping that combo, having the awareness to break the victor and not letting him let the heat. That made the difference. Great round. Tenemos el Big Boot en la pared, pero no le da para nada más. Oh, nice try for the punish. Ooh, all right, let's go, let's do it. Yo creo que aquí lo puede matar, vamos a ver. Le falta un poquito más y nada, ahí está. Se lo lleva empatando. Un counter hit on there, instantly turned that round in his favor. And then Jack with the wall carry, it's just as scary as Leo, taking that set. I believe we're now 1-1. Here we go. The heat engage with Victor, choosing not to do anything on stance to delay, giving him exactly what he needs to get that power crush against the wall. A wonderful launch punish from Jack. And dropping the combo back 3-2, very weird hitbox. And in stance, no no, get off me. The heat just to stop the stance and any mix up there, really smart decision. And letting the heat rip, kind of evening it out. And the gunshot with nothing, landing the counter hit sweep. Full combo, can we break? No, we don't even need to break, taking the round convincingly. Alrighty, vámonos pues. Parece que el Victor no se quiere dejar. Y vale, se agacha muy bien esa patada que yo ni siquiera sabía que era Jai. Y aquí vamos para la pared. Vamos a darle más hito. Con vaso, mira nada más. Uf. Tiene ahí el break. Jack intentando salir de la pared y lo logra con este bonito flow. Hey, hey, welcome guys. Thanks for the follows. Ufala quiere counter hit, pero no se le da. Oh my god, the wall was too quick. We are not breaking those right now. Override the heat dash into the mix up. The throw again. Never mind. We break it this time. Ooh, Jack stands the heat. Okay, that's a big opportunity right here. The wake up for Good block, but not the appropriate punish. It's all good with the low. We still close it out. That was a form of bravery I'd love to see from Christian. Running up. Victor takes the gun out. Jack did not care. Went right through it. And that's what made the difference in the round. Getting the big throw in. Oh, this is the second time we saw the throw. Not really converting on the combo. And kind of looking with the heat drop quickly. That, that's all of his offensive tools. And especially now that Victor ran through. No extra heat. This is a fair match. Let's see how both players take it. Looking for some jab post in to throw and getting the counter hit sweep. Victor able to run with it. Looking for the full wall extension. Getting the explosion. And just small pokes to fix. Both players definitely changing their style and definitely respecting. And oh, going for the grab again. That's three in one round. Gotta wonder if there maybe should be some better offensive pressure there. Because now Jack is carrying it out and oh, with the rage? Even if this wouldn't kill, this would kind of carry time out. Looking really good. I, I'm getting a feeling this is going to go final round. Sí, podría ser que se nos va final round. Vamos a ver si sí. Uf, vale, no, qué buen dog. Precioso, hermoso ese dog. No, pero el cómo no, no estuvo chido. Se nos ve muy rancio. Uy, yo creo que aquí lo puede matar, vamos a ver No, le falta poquito más Y ahí está con el low rápidamente Christian, closing it out, 2 1 oh, Commentator's curse Remember Arslan saying during his time In the preview version of Tekken 8 Saying that everyone since Tekken 7 Has been sleeping on Leo so Let's see it go <laughs> The DBZ reference Rest in peace Toriyama uh, looking in and getting some quick pokes. 
and the wall standing three. Oh, ducking the slap, just psychic reads from Ento. Great job. Getting conversions on the back stance really hard. And blocking the down back two. Very, very good job from Leo. And we got these throw breaks and push in the offense. And oh, freezing up in the whiff heat. It's very scary. That's exactly how it worked for me. And just getting the wake up kick. That's round one. Bonito wake up kick ahí de Leo. Ufales. Tiene el wild carry. Miren que chulo. Uy, cancelamos muy bien. Hay que castigar ese, no sé cuánto queda, pero se castiga. Min mínimo 14 se castiga. Ufale. La flotación. Lo mata, no lo mata. No, pero qué bonito side para la derecha. A ese hay que hacerle side para la derecha. Siempre. Bueno, con cuidado, porque puede que no lo termine, ¿verdad? <risa> Ufale, interrumpimos aquí, prendimos el hit. And there we go with the heat match. Yeah, the one two, not choosing to end the string four, which would be a very punishable low. Really great decision making from Leo. Not afraid of the electric pressure. The back wave dashing, Devil Jin. Trying to faint, trying to pull some Leo offense, but not biting. Really great patience. And at least changing directions, even with the throw break. Not getting the punish on the launcher, but looking to move quickly. Great crouch block and heading the flying launcher with this side dangerous combo. Oh, and as I say it, letting it go. Trunks looking on the ropes. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go into stance and we're gonna do it again. Oh, here's the scary combo. Not getting the wall standing one for one. Oh no, that was the difference in the round. Sí, ese block estuvo muy bien, ese punish también, pero bueno, parece que hay oportunidad aquí para Eto, que quiere hacer el comeback, excelente block y punish también, el agarre de dos, no hubo break. Vamos a hacer un poquito de espacio, como que se nos están yendo los muy simples. Misty Sandwich aprovechando con ese tan gordo. Uf, no puede ser que hace como en counter hit esta cochinada. <risa> Nunca había visto esa animación. Oh no. Oh my god, good, good with punish. All right, let's go. Okay, so we are we are following. For those who don't know, Tekken World Tour recently announced that yes, it is all random stage now. When you lose, you don't get to switch uh, to either stage or character. Of course, same character will still apply. And now here we go, one of my favorite stages, uh, Subconscious. When you see the stage purple, that's when you know the floor break's gonna come. Also happens on the climax round. Great wall pressure, and kind of an awkward off-axis move, but great idea to get just quick wall standing floor punish. <laughs> Up forward 2-1, you know, letting it rip, it's safe, and if that one lands, you get the counter hit. And Devil Jin in the heat. Not going forward and going in with the Hell Sweep and getting the combo. There's that purple. Next floor hit will break us through, and that's the first round. All right, vámonos. Pues les explico, chicos, and I'm gonna do this in English and Spanish. Um, que ya son las reglas que tenemos que cambiar el stage cada vez. Tiene que ser random todos los días, todos los torneos. Cada vez que ganes o pierdas, tienes que cambiar el stage. Random select every time. Yeah, we gotta do random select every time. Um, I'm gonna start doing that uh, with the tournaments for April. Right now, the Tekken World Tour hasn't started and the rules are already there for the tournaments we have. Uh, so it's not necessary that you wanna do it. You can still do it if you want to. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start doing it that way. Pero bueno, vámonos pues aquí que ya rompimos el piso. Y ya se nos fue el combo también, como que no dio para más. Nosotros tenemos el hit disponible. Vamos a ver qué hacen. Castiga, uy, castiga muy poquito. Lo pudo haber matado si le hacíamos el launcher ahí al Wildstanding 4-4. Ay, no, que tuvimos un lag spike rancio. Uh, nice hit, man. 
both players just looking for something, and then Timer kind of throws both of them up, and then just getting the quick closeout, Leo getting the ball, and even though there's no walls in this level, still doing great carry. Full extension, great punish, noticing that Eto stays on the ground a lot, and just getting the quick kicks. I like taking the guaranteed damage. Wonderful movement from both players, the wall standing 1-1, one, one, not baiting. Another long standing on the ground. And yeah, Demon's Paw not really looking for much. And getting the back to Heat Engage. And no for the sweep. Getting right into but dropping the combo. And both players in Heat. And as I said, letting it go and letting it go right back. There's just a lot of respect going on here. Very low commitment. And oh, catches the float and very smartly takes the Rage to close out the time and the round. Really, really, really great job from Etho. I like this adjustment that we're seeing, giving himself some time to think, come up with a new strategy. We're gonna see something explosive the next round. Así es, definitivamente se está ajustando muy bien aquí nuestro Devil Jin. El Leo pues no se queda atrás, como que se quiere acomodar, quiere hacer algo. No se le está dando en este match, vamos a ver si se puede. Tienen los mix-ups, el stance, ufale, no, es que eso da miedo, oigan. tienen que hacer como que un medio, un medio que sí le pegue, porque también los evade con su chingadera de sanfón. <risa> Vamos a ver aquí. Castiga no, no hay nada. Ufale, es como que, como que quiere encontrar el espacio Leo, pero no puede. Ya tenemos hit aquí para el Devil Jane, que va a hacer con él? Nada, todavía nada, se lo gasta. No le da para nada, pero le da plus frames. Tiene ahí traqueando un poquito y ahí está con los jabs. Eto, time things up. One, one. All right, we got round one. Trunks not changing, but the stage is. Baiting with the safes, launcher, and then doing it again and getting that full combo. Are we going to get a break on this? Not yet. Moving quickly with the delayed dashes into the punish. Getting the hell sweep, and here goes. The back turn combos, easy for Devil Jin. Let's get a laser in there. 4-4-2 four, four, with Leo, always scary, but not biting. And oh, just out of pixel range from that wall standing 1-1. One, one. And Devil Jin pushing all the way to the wall. We're going wall to wall. I know this stage is small, but really taking advantage of it. We've hit three out of four walls this one round alone, and with the blo low block punish, taking round one. Muy bien ahí el block. Un palestrofe, un counter hit aquí. Ok, ok, un poquito de presión. Finalmente el launcher aquí para Leo. Vamos a la pared. ¿Castiga? No, no hubo castigo. ¿Qué pasó? Todo salió mal. Agarro nomás dos. Viene el break ahí. Oh no, can I interrupt the string? Ok, interesting while standing for. Oh, ok, let's go into it. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> The second hit ended up working. Nice low mix up. Oh, not like this and that. That just picks you up from the floor. <laughs> that okay is insane. All right, last chance here for Leo for this round, but never mind. It's an on set point. Some more stage knowledge for you. In this stage, once either side wall is broken, you automatically get brought to the bottom of the stage. And looking with some strong offense. The first two rounds, Leo was getting that down forward two almost each and every time. Not working for them this round. And oh, the magic four. And the poise to give it a K and K cancels and nothing at all. Looking for that wall splat. And both in heat. No one letting it rip. Let's see some heat patience here. Oh, very linear in that commitment. Great move, great tech roll. And getting the heat dash in. No, oh, no. not getting the 141. Oh, the step and the rage. That should hit. Yes. All right, Leo's back 
in the mix. I love the movement. You know, seeing that Devil Jin or Eta was committing to a lot of hop kicks and a lot of linear jump attacks, finally sidestepping and showing the knowledge. Definitivamente aquí un esfuerzo muy grande de Leo para hacer el comeback se nos está yendo y el launcher para castigar el wall standing 4-4 de Devil Jin. Tantísimas headshots, que miedo. The Leo wants to live, yes, yes. Alright, vámonos pues. Vamos eléctricos a ver si pegan, a ver si sí, a ver si no. Qué bonito block and launcher, ok. Going to the wall here. Oh no, careful with the mix-ups, it's so scary. Okay, change the spots. Nice, placing up the load, just tries it again. It has to work sometimes, you know. Oh my god, what a flow, tornado at the wall. All right, here we go. Look at this damage, but we're dropping. It's all good, it was a reset. It was a reset, it was even more damage at the end. Oh, the mid, not gonna work out. Leo still with the heat available. Okay, we turn it on. And there we go, just like that, just like that. No patience at the end there. Yeah, brilliant, through, wonderful, bringing us to the final round of this set. Oh, and like I said, the down forward two just working miracles for Leo, and no wall conversion. Ah, oh, that's that's Leo's biggest piece of damage. Can they adjust? Can they take another wall combo? Oh, great low block, and looking for the punish into the heat engage, letting it go a little early, and getting the slap, but not too many options off that version. Once in heat and taking the lasers, getting free offensive, free full screen coverage, great maximizing damage, and oh, the command grab given the headbutt, and yes, letting it rip, especially knowing it's at the end, and oh, landing the quick kick to close it out. So in, in the story mode, Miguel specifically points out how cute and wonderful June is. I know there's a lot of side fan comics and other lore, but... In what but story mode? In six. In six? What? Okay, I gotta revisit that, but let's just go back to this match because we're already starting with this bear matchup. <laughs> This bear versus Lee match. Oh, scary. You know, the lockdown from Lee against, you know, Kuma anytime and, and looking for a bunch of options that even go through armor. As I said, if both characters going through armor and Bear taking the first round convincingly, I think they're feeling each other out. All right, vámonos pues que ya quedé yo como que enranciada, que ya no sé qué está pasando ahí con la historia, pero vámonos con los Bear Electric. Ufales, qué bonito parry termina embarrada en la pared de este ojo. Da mucho miedo, da mucho miedo, da mucho, mucho miedo. Ok, vámonos pues, con vaso, mira nada más. Qué bonito, qué chulo. Tenemos un poquito de presión aquí de Lee y con el Blood se termina llevando el round. Yeah, once Lee gets their offense going and once Lee is not afraid of any armor moves from Kuma, it becomes a completely different game. But kind of like we saw in the previous matches with Slade, letting a lot of those string launcher combos rip, which are very unsafe, and Lee is ready and prepared for it. Getting the heat engage and the wall splat, getting the push tornado, and just taking the old school low kicks combo and hitting it to take the round with the spring kick. Buddy, it's, it's his sister, it's his sister, but I'm sorry guys, I'm getting lost here on the on the lore, but let's go with this match! We have plenty of their very sweet action here, and we got the heat, okay, we go for the bear electric. Oh, and we just, we just spanned it, it doesn't do much. Freezy has good, good defense right here, oh my god, okay, we get a little launcher here, oh no, but we dropped right away! Oh, nice punish! Alright, some bear pressure here. We gotta do the miss just to keep him out. Ooh, nice. No, that's so scary. <laughs> Punish that. Let's go. And just like that, Freezy takes the first match. 1 0, guys. Yes, yes. Definitely. <laughs> Alright, so the bear looked an amazing first round, but let's see how Slave can come back after losing the first set. And with some low games, some low grounds, and then a grab right from it. Ooh, with the little shimmy shuffle. I like it. And getting stuffed before anything. Letting the string rip. And going right back into the same armor move into Crouch. Way pressing the offense into a hop kick. Or hop knee. 
now coming back with the slower but the scoops. Oh my and God. the psychic <laughs> rage art. That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit big. You know, Slade has to be careful though. Uh, Lee is still in heat, and Lee in heat is one of the most dangerous characters you'll find in the roster. Getting that full screen advantage. It just says, you know what, I'm popping it too, but oh, it's the forward, forward three. Was he teabagging? Oh my god. I, I don't know if that was a teabag or not, but let's just, let's just continue here. <laughs> the bear dance, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, okay, nice grab. Gonna be a counter hit. Aquí vamos con el agarre del oso también. Vámonos pues. Ufales. La patita y mira nomás como le baila. The bear dance so is so cool. Uh-oh. Uh oh, what is happening? Oh, nice! Oh, oh that was a T-Bag! That was a T-Bag! That was a bear bag! Ah! <laughs> wow! Beautiful me, that confidence kind of gave him the round. Exposing the back and landing the hop kick reverse is wonderful. I wouldn't call it disrespect, I'd just call it getting in your opponent's head. And if you know something is making your opponent act differently, you, you gotta do it. All right, you're walking into the heat and getting the punish, but not taking the tornado. But, ooh, the wall standing launcher. Here's the tornado. Here's the low kick wall. I think he's taking that for the stance advantage. And great command grab break. <laughs> the taunts fading it out and still having perfect defense. Kind of reminds me of Miguel. You can walk forward, but you could still block and bait something out. Oh, yeah, opponent. that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, vamos aquí con el oso. Christian ganó esa. Ponle que ganó Christian. Ok, vámonos pues. Ufales. How do you tee back in this? You don't want to do that. <laughs> duck that! Oh my god, nice. He, he actually did uh, uh, a duck there. Like a, a little fusty duck. Ooh, ok, nice. Come here at the wall. We get the Oki too. Oh, nice block. Oof, alright. Looking hella good, and there goes the bear. Yeah, I really wouldn't call it teabagging, especially in this version of Tekken, where micro movements can really set your opponent off. So sometimes you'll see people crouch, uncrouch, dash, undash. You know, I see Anya move with Asuka very minutely forward and backwards. It's just sometimes what you do to create a spacing or a reaction tool. And as quickly as I could say that, Bear ran wild, got the heat push, and got this round convincingly with the perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's go guys. This is one one yeah, we're going to a final fight right here. And we got we got the bear and I just I just love seeing bear on the screen for some reason, but I get real scared when I'm fighting bear. Ooh, okay, oh, okay, yeah, don't forget go. the predictions. Yeah yeah, we got the predictions up for y'all. Ooh, nice conversion. Let's go. Get the bear butt at the wall. No, it's not that punchable you guys. It's just minus twelve ish. Yeah, it's, it's a little sad. I feel like it should be more possible. <laughs> Ooh, nice roll and the round for the bear. Oh, the key charge. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, when Eddie Gordo comes out, we're going to see some dancing and taunting naturally just in his movements. Uh, great step back launcher, full wall carry, and this is one of the smallest stages in the game. And not getting the full pressure, but then again, if Bear would have pressed anything on low, his special wake-ups, he would have got punished. So maybe a good decision, just didn't work out. And the backwards facing combo, taking the heat just to get the butt bump. And countering through the Mishima punches, let's go. And perfectly teching the roll and landing the heat smash, doing enough damage. Great job, this Bear is looking alive. Ooh, nice block. Okay, we actually get the launcher this time. Mire qué bonito combo, como que se iba cómodo, yo no sabía cómo era. Yo creo que no había visto a ningún Lee que si lo hiciera bien. A lo mejor se batalla la ejecución, no sé. <risa> ok, tenemos ahí con vaso también de Kuma, pero se nos fue el combo también, santo pollo. No, pero qué rancio, pero por qué está regalando el round así, qué está pasando con este oso. Uf, vale, sí con el medio, ni modo, run para Freezy. Ray kind of taking this round and showing how fainting, stepping back, that backdash is working really well against Kuma's range. And then taking any launcher and in. But no, Kuma not afraid, getting the heat dash, and this time blocking the low on the backspin and getting the full carry. I'll take to the wall. And 
not letting those every single time going for the slide bear is getting it and giving us the dance. This is a tactical dance. And the low, and oh, raging through. Is it gonna do enough damage? Hey, no, it's not. It might, it might. Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. We're taking it to the final round of this set. Yeah, the charge one is like minus four, and then the. Um, the. the non charge one is like 12. Ooh, okay, let's go. Vamos a ver. Tenemos aquí mucha presión. Uh, vale, es un launcher. No, como que no alcanzo bien la flotada. Uy, ahí está el perfect. No se dejó el lío. Crazy winning got that one. Let's go. Multi-tier breaks. Uh, some facts about this stage is once you get a tier break, you cannot break the next one. So breaking through the fence to breaking through the floor. And Bear showing the quick offense and the heat. But not afraid, Lee taking it back with the down back three launcher. Oh, and the wake up swing missing, but still getting the next swing. And Lee with the counter hit, not taking advantage of it. And now we have a different form of dancing. We're gonna call that Bear Walk Stance and just landing the hop kick. Some classic Tekken strats right there. And getting the dance instead of closing the combo is looking really confident. And sometimes confidence is way more important than that extra piece of damage. Getting the grab, not enough to kill, but taking the down back two in this round. I'm loving this bear. Tanto pollo como le encanta ser rey el tiba garteoso. Vámonos pues. Alright, nice conversion here. Pues vamos con el heat. Oh, we just stand it. Ooh, okay, going for the low. Oh, looking real bad for Lee right here. Oh, okay. We get throw. Qué miedo, oigan, qué miedo. The bear makes it easy to commentate. <laughs> it's just doing everything. Oh my god, the counter hit. Not like this, but drops the combo immediately. It's all good. He cleans it up. Bear is pointing out that uh, this reminds him of the Yodel stage. Ironically, that's what I set the music to on Climax, because Yodel theme is still one of the best themes in all of Tekken. <laughs> and getting the full string to launch her against the wall. Are we going to break? No. And getting the crouching launcher, the scoop, and the full extension. All right. Waiting for it. Off axis with the side bump. Very interesting choice. And, you know, I'm going to believe that this was all planned. Part of the Keikaku. And not finishing the string smartly. And Lee not afraid to take these pokes back. And now we're looking even in health. And turning the tables and taking the round. Lee on set point. Yes, Maya is commentating with me, guys. Ooh, okay, let's go. Ooh, we're going to see here that we do a wall carry. We're going to the wall, claro, because we're going to go down. Ooh, and we're going to piso the floor, Santísimo Pollo. Mira nada más que se me hace que aquí lo mata. I think this is going to be it, you guys. It looks like it's going to be it. And yes, with the perfect freeze, it's looking real good. Sending Slate to Looser's Bracket. Let's get into our next match. Now, both players that we've seen here that had answers through adaptation here. We got Eto and Christian, Jack 8 and Devil Jin. And oh, very, very calm, very, very quiet in this start. Nothing crazy. And then coming in and beating the float, getting the full combo, and jumping right into heat. Jack looking dangerous against the wall, getting those conversions, especially in his Victor match. A great tech tool from Enzo, and just hitting and oh that breaks the wall we're gonna go low early in this round but dropping the combo now, is this what we need from Eto to come back in this round yeah, there seems to be a lot of patience and knowledge here and the laser not going to work Finally letting it rip. Again, psychic timing with Eto. They always seem to really work out for him. We're going all the way to the timer. And a double KO! Wow! Vale, tanto pollo, que miedo. Tanto pollo porque no hay pal stop. Como así, Ogni, como así. Uf, vale, es un pisotón ahí. 
No, pero mira nada más todo el daño que le está haciendo. Tiene miedo el Devil Jin ahí en la esquina. ¿Qué va a hacer? Nada. Le pega el hit y se muere. As a stark contrast to our last round, we went all the way to the end of the timer and then suddenly Jack taking less than 10 seconds, maybe a little more, getting the slow arm digs. You know, that used to do way more damage in Tekken 7 and 6. And knowing the string, knowing exactly how to punish it, and charging up, letting it rip, no, no real big follow-up on there, just the one one, or sorry, one two. Combo will be enough with the laser extension. This is going to the final round. Nos vemos a final round, pues. Uy, qué buen castigo. Uf, vale, se la agarré de dos. Nada, se lo quita súper rápido reaccionando. Muy bien el launcher aquí para Devil Gen. Que ya se está recuperando, se está acomodando. Y así se va a llevar el primer match. Está ganando Eto 1 a 0. Looking at this match, same stage, Random did not want them to change. <laughs> Looking smart and landing the God Fist. Electrics all the way through. We don't drop those, but we do drop the Wall Fury. And backing up. This is looking almost identical to our first round. Running in, double dashing back, and then looking for a swing, this time working out in Eto's advantage. And just a simple down 4-4, closing out the first round. Alright, vámonos pues. Upa, les viene el running kick. Uy, mira nada más, bonita da el kick. Lo quiere aventar hasta la pared, pero no le da para nada más. Igual se gasta el kick. Hace muy buen daño así que smash. Upa, les que miedo, que miedo, tengo miedo. ¿Le pega? No le pega. No quiere. Uy, ok. No se quiere dejar ese Devil Jin como que ya le está haciendo más, más espacio, más tranquilo. Está calmado él. Uy, qué bonito delay del Wall Standing 4-4 y se lleva el round. Great adaptation from Eto after eating two counter hit down twos, deciding no, I need to get in there. I can't let Jack set up this offense, and it gave him the round very quickly. The flyaway dodge and the heat engage, back facing combo. Yes, we have lasers. We have an answer for that each and every time. And the quick jab interruptions, and looking so dangerous, this Devil Jin. Not going for any of these sweeps yet, just looking to keep the quick pressure and Demon's Paw into anything else. So Non-electric, but no punish. Man, psychically dodging and ducking the throw. Good throw breaks too, didn't even work when he landed it. Looking really strong. Jack finally letting the heat go and letting it rip early. Elgin's patience looking to let it off, but no! Can we get this combo? Dropped it against Victor, but not when it matters against Devil Jin. Really great comeback by Jack. Claro que sí. Castiga esto, qué bonito. Vamos a ver aquí una embarra en la pared. Cuál en tu combazo. Ay no, pero qué cochinada hace Devil Jin en la pared. ¡Qué miedo! <risa> Uf, vale, se la agarre, no se lo alcanza a quitar y nos vemos volando, pero se nos cae el combo. ¿Por qué no? ¿Like this? Well, I don't think that's the punish. Is it? How minus is the, that, that um, dive kick? I want to know. I feel like we should just stream the tournament with the frame data of it, Leon. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Mix up there. And Eto is going to take it. Two to one. Devil Jin and the Bear. This is our losers finals. I believe this is gonna be a first to three. Alright. Great stage, Yakushima, biggest stage in the live. We don't have infinite anymore, but we're cab dances already, setting up not what I would call offense, but our dance pressure. And Shima Fist going through and perfect timing to start up there. Heat Devil Jin coming back. And getting it, throwing it, great block pressure. And yes, the tech roll into the ground moves. Yeah, this is a great movement tool for Puma. I really, really enjoy seeing Slade move. 
And no, the slow wake up is punishable. That's a great rage art decision from Devil Jin. Now we're gonna play our favorite game. Will this kill? I think it will. No, it won't. Let's see what we have for wake up. No decisions on that bear this time. And just getting the string launcher. Here we go. Round one, Takuma. Ya nos fuimos pues con el round para el oso, que como le gusta bailar a este oso. Mira, la que viene con un launcher. Uh, pero ese nos fue el como no, qué miedo. Uh, vale, es ok. Quito espacio. Mira aquí la presión del oso, quiere hacer nada, quiere cargar y no lo están dejando. No lo están dejando hacer esos movimientos cargados. We gotta punish that, oh my god. I think their business should be fine for that. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Oh no, what happened? It's so good, it still works out. And the bear with two rounds in the key charge. Bear frame data is a little scary. You know, with most characters, you can kind of tell when they stagger or fall. Sometimes it's really hard to read how, just how unsafe something is on block against Puma. And oh, the armor says, get off me, pushes them back and starts the heat engage. But pressing buttons perfectly into it looking like it and i've said it once i've said it again the psychic finishers on the heat and jumping over the low and getting that free combo and oh, with a barely great back dash and great punish on the wake up move fight vámonos pues Uf, vale, okay muy bonito ese delay uy nos vimos por el low nada no funciona Oh, okay, let's go. You didn't get Oh, we tried to charge that low. It's not gonna work up, but this... This bear electrics are working out just fine. Oh my god, the mix-ups. We get a float here. Okay, we're able to convert it. Oh, nice. Oh, no, it interrupt? Is that gonna be it? No, no, no. We're we're not there yet. We need a little bit more, a little bit of a mix-up. And oh. a recharge. <laughs> Un recharge para cerrar el... The round y el match se va a llevar el primer match el oso va ganando 1-0 yeah, I was gonna say Eto has some real real character knowledge here on Kuma blocking Ruby Peck and Ivy Fwelly thank you guys so so much but let's go back to our losers final 1-1-2 just pushing it out through as Devil Jin takes commanding lead of this round we're up 1-0 on the bear, but you'd have fooled me. Devil Jin just swinging for the fences and takes an early, early advantage. And showing more knowledge and the float. Getting this combo and it convert fully off this. Getting the heat dash, but dropping the last part. But interrupting the slow charge too. Great job. Fight. <laughs> Un espacio, quiere hacer whip punish, pero le queda muy lejos del counter hit para Devil Jin. Uy, ok, tenemos un trade sorpresa. Qué miedo, el oso quiere bailar. El oso siempre quiere bailar. Uh, yep, that's gonna stop and then two rounds straight for Eto. Yeah, I'm curious. I saw the low counter hit trip, you know, as a June main, that's an instant while standing three, but I'm curious what Bear has, especially in stance. Ah, getting the charge low, but letting it go quickly. And then down back to catching the counter hit, just getting the pressure right back for Eto. Getting the pull and the scoop. And not allowing Bear to do any wake up tactics here, just punching him back to the ground. No, and the wall standing did not reach, but the heat did. Oh no, walking right into the flips, and no combo, oh no. And the hell sweep, using the dance to kind of psych himself up, even in the face of an oncoming uh, strike from Devil Jin. And starting the third set here, this is again a first to three, and getting the heat engaged. And with a beautiful block, not a full punish there. And unfortunately pushing it through and getting the heat finisher here, but it's not enough. And oh, letting the strings, that's dangerous against the Baron Heat. Letting those Mishimas rip. And 
not taking it. Round one going to Eto. Mm, nice step there, nice punish. Si tenemos que hacerle algo a ese oso cuando se agacha así en Hunting Bear Stance porque da mucho miedo. Se lo tienen que quitar ahí en de, de encima, no lo pueden dejar que esté ahí. Uh, parece muy bien. Tenemos aquí el hit. Uy, el stream completo. Yo esas cosas sí porque se debe poder castigar de alguna manera. No puede ser que sea safe. El agarre de dos, dos se lo quita y con el Loki le alcanza a pegar una patita ahí en el piso. Very waking up Oki, oh, scary, just getting the kick. And looking on fire now, having some answers for Kuma. Etzo has already showed in the first two sets that he knows Kuma's moves and has taken some risks to punish it. And oh, the full charge actually hitting against the wake up. Really smart traps for pressing anything for Bear on the wake up. No to the hell sweep. Yes to the dance, and no to throw break. That was a very quick third set. Round one. All right, so now we are in the fourth game here. Looking, getting the full launch string. Getting this to the wall. Are we gonna break some walls? Oh, not close enough, but great offensive pressure. This is a good adjustment from Slade getting some new lows in here and sticking to them until they get punished. That's round one, the little shimmy. Está viendo bien aquí el oso, como que quiere hacer el comeback, ya no se va a aventar tantas bailadas, bueno, no sabemos. You're not even, not like this, Sonic. Pega, no, no pega. Bueno, sí pegó, pero no, no fue combo. Ufales. Le entra todo el hit smash ahí. No, este Rich está pero bien rancio, no va a pegar. Y hasta ahorita sé que las cancas de Devil Jin salen en 15. Hey, we can have one miss. Honestly, every single rage hurt that Slate has done this entire tournament has been perfect. A great interruption or a great breed. Unfortunately, that one didn't work out. But it's okay. Unshaken, letting the string go and getting the full launcher. Here we are against the wall. Are we gonna break? Oh, we're gonna take max damage. And the dodge into the page that I thought that was going to actually be a punish. But getting that pressure back, switching from five blows in a row now to four mids, and they're all working out for Bear. Se le fue ahí el punish en Rancio, ya. The punish. Oh my god, okay, Bear is doing everything right now. Oh, it just works. <laughs> two to two. And very quickly into this. This is going to be our final set of the losers finals here. This is a first to three set, two two. Devil Jin versus Kuma. Looking in the fun Manhattan stage. Little Times Square action going on. Oh, getting the counter hit down back too. And missing the hell sweep. Very awkward hitbox there. And letting a full screen bear. Maybe he was trying to bait out maybe a little dance and punish. But either way, working out in his favor, taking round one convincingly. Muy bien, aquí viene el Devil Jim, pero el osito no se quiere dejar, pero no, se queda ahí en el bear stand. Si no le está funcionando, lo están launchando bien rancio con las cancans. Uf, vale, se cubre, pero no castiga ese wall standing 4-4. Queda launch, chicos, acuérdense. Creo que de todos los Mishimas queda launch. Uf, vale. Tenemos conversión aquí. Ya aprendimos el hit para alargar el combo, pero se nos fue. Uy, el Red Electric no funciona. Está bien, todavía hay buena defensa. Uf, vale, le pega algo bastante en 4-4. Vamos a ver por aquí, por allá. Por donde entra nada. La hockey sale castigada. Es un set point right quick. And, and just some local knowledge I got from our local bear player is that winning heat, Kuma does get those got this, but usually with spacing and on block, you only can throw two out before you push your opponent away. Yeah. It's smart enough to do the far reach on it, and great block from Enzo, knowing the charge low, letting it rip, and just the shoulder charge, and the low parry, amazing reads. Not letting any of these wake-ups work, even getting the heat on the spring kick. 
Dang it, full side, and there's the Hell Sweep working. Getting the back combo into lasers. Still has heat, letting her rip any moment. There it is. Great block from Kuma. Oh, no. And oh! <gasps> oh, through the grab! <laughs> Like I said, you know, really good decisions or psychic decisions there, and that does more than enough damage. Wow, what a comeback! Santísimo pollo con ese raid rancio. Y empezamos aquí muy bien el round para el oso que se lleva el launcher con la hop kick. Bien los mix ups. Quiero hacer algo. Ese creo que es el launcher. Oiga, ya, ya no me acuerdo. Tengo que volver a jugar con más oso. Uf, le salgaron agarro más dos nada. No, qué miedo. Se está viendo muy bien esto para el oso. Lo quiere llevar a Final Final Round. ¿Será que puede? Pero el launcher de Double Gen. Uh. Oh my god. No, trying to get out of the wall, but Double Gen is not gonna let him. Last chance for the Baron gets hit with the low. That's gonna be it, guys. Wait, let me tell the, the players to leave their start. They're maturing or they won't. Go ahead, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shaheen pulling through and Eto, you know, coming in here. This is a weird knowledge check here for Eto, but he's proven all throughout this tournament that he knows exactly how to work against people's tool set. And starting off with good offense is the best way to keep Shaheen from charge, to keep him from breaking your guard, from using all the tool sets. And we have our first floor break. The next one will go through. That's a perfect for the first round going to Eto, looking on a good roll here. Alrighty, vámonos pues, que ya tenemos esta grand final. Tenemos a Rizzi del lado de Winners, para que se pongan ahí. Les voy a poner el indicador que esto está del lado de Lucil, pero bueno, se nos fue un launcher aquí. No, qué buen block. No, pero se nos ve el combo inmediatamente. ¿Qué está pasando? No, like this. Extraño que los Wake Up Force sean menos 12. Mira nada más, qué bonito punish. Frizzy sí está castigando. Frizzy sí está castigando. Beautiful, wonderful. Yeah, taking it through and just, you know, that near. I don't know who made it first, but that hop kick's identical to Claudio. Working out so well for Shaheen. Not a full punish on that either, but just going right back into the string. Non-electric. Yeah, very patient play here, just kind of worried about the explosive offense from either player. And taking it to the wall. Are we getting breaks? Yes, we're getting breaks. Let's see how we can extend this, especially after a long combo. Looking for the slam and Oki. Nice high wheel mix up and takes to the third round. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, aquí Shaggy no me parece que como que quería empezar ahí con una hop kick, pero no. Not a good idea to do a hop kick right there. Ooh, okay, we're going for the mix up. The low option. Oh, punish that. Let's go. Nice punish. Okay, we get a little bit of plus frames. Trying to work with it. Oh no, again the hop kick. Bad timing for it. Uh, super, while standing, cuatro, lo cierra. Looking really sharp there. This could be anyone's round. This is the first set in our grand finals here. Dogs of War 7 and Devil Jin carrying it through, baiting out the charge and not letting a full charge go. And there's our first trip of the match, getting the follow up into another trip. The special here, I love to see it. Shaheen is very patient after pressing two on there. Really great throw break. And Eto trying with the early, early rip on the heat smash. And Shaheen punishing for it. Getting the full carry. Oh, and missing the follow up. And looking just to correct it maybe with another launcher. Oh my god. Very patient play. And letting it rip up and down. And yep, the smart rage art. That'll definitely be enough to take this. That is our first game in this first to three set. This is our grand finals. That's it. Yeah, don't get discouraged. That was like I heard. Uh, pushing in on round one. Going for quicker pokes. And as I said that, we're already starting with the launchers and gets it. Got this right back. Great sidestep. And wondering, no activation there. And a nice quick sidestep. 
the movement here is on point and everyone's just looking for some quick launchers. And the lasers closing out the first round. Like I said, Eto downloading the knowledge. Claro que si sí, vámonos pues. No, pues no, ya vienen los mixos de Shaggy, tengan cuidado. It gets scary. Ooh, okay, nice punish, let's go. Ooh, the, the two break, immediate. Good reactions, oh no, that takes away the white lag. Ooh, and with the mid, okay, it works out perfectly well for Freezy. Seeing a great pattern here of just high-low mix-ups, and as soon as you thought you had the read, here's the launcher out of nowhere. And credit in with good dash pressure, kind of canceling in and showing the offense, breaking the guard, and getting in and breaking the guard again, but this time as a combo. The full wall carry, and too much in the air, kind of knocks away in both favor. Devil Jin in heat and grabs him through his string. That is some knowledge there. And the lasers into the heat smash. Now we're pretty much even in this round. And just simply 1-1-2. One, one, Don't do anything unsafe, Shaheen. He's castigando. Eto está muy listo para castigar aquí, pero bueno, ya nos fuimos con el slide. Muy bonito, muy chulo. Uy, castiga no. Nada, el counter. Si viene ahí para Freezy. Vale, un poquito de cuidado ahí. Uy, ya tenía el Wii Phone y se le fue, pero bueno, no pasa nada. Igual tiene bastante ventaja de vida. Está trabajando en el perpe de aquí. No, ya tenía el flood y se le fue también. Tenemos el hit. ¿Será que pega? Y sí, ahí está el perfect para Freezy. Yeah, it was really interesting uh, round to go, just seeing that read. Sometimes you do take those risks to show them or to keep them from using that tool. And that command grab works so well for shutting down the round and the next. This is the final round of this second set here, looking very strong on both sides. And now kind of pulling back to this normal patient style of play. Poke, poke, launch, ah, getting the counter hit, but not landing the full combo. And Shaheen not relying on the lows, trying to change up their style. Really great movement, just out of range each time, and coming in with a slow mid. Devil Jin getting it, and that should, oh, not be enough. The laser's almost there. And the quick swipe, and... We are going to a different stage this time. Biased for this stage, I love Subconscious. Just like we saw, pulling the down forward 1-2, letting it go, playing some Tekken 5 here, and the step cancel, and now into some hot punches, some Superman punches, finally gets that opening, taking the heat. And against the wall, Devil Jin is not afraid, getting that counter hit launcher, and off axis right up against the wall, yes we get those. And a great hell sweep block, and come right back for the free offense, there's the first jet sleep but instead takes the smart wild combo to get it just enough damage for the kill. Really great adaptation. Una pata y un codo. Ah, ya sé cuál. Es un mix-up. Sí, sí, ya sé cuál dices. No, sí, sí lo tiene. Obviamente, ya lo vimos varias veces. <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's go. All right, here, because this round is looking like it's Eto's, but okay, here we go, Freezy. Trying to make the comeback happen. Get the counter hit. Nice. It's going to be a full launcher. We get into the wall. Are we going to try and go downstairs? Never mind. We're not ready for that. Oh my god. Not like this. That's going to be it with the heat smash. Yeah, it's a really interesting dynamic that Shaheen has. You can basically modulate your combo off the tornado and decide whether or not you want to carry them forwards or backwards. A 180 stance change. And great counter hit. That hopping three, kind of like Brian Fury. Getting the whole combo and the wall extension. Oh, just getting another splat, but not reaching with the down forward three. Oh, great sidestep against the hop, uh, the hop slam from Devil Jin. Holding on to the heat, not really working out in his favor. Shaheen on set point. Mm -hmm, muy bien ahí la, la patada media. You like Devil Jin, Lord, but it's a cringe character design, not like this. <laughs> No lo sé, yo siento que, que pasa, yo siento que está más o menos bien. Ay no, se nos ve el combazo, que okay, no pasa nada, hacemos un poquito de espacio, pero tenemos otro combo más para Devil Jim. Rompimos el piso y ahora sí se nos acabaron los pisos. Upa, les cuidado con ese whip. 
Eso como que llega bien lejos, oye. Oh my god, no, are we lagging out? What is happening? Oh no. Hopefully the players aren't experiencing that. Maybe we're going to get the time warp. Okay, Frizzy's back. Okay, they were just waiting it out, I guess. Like a little spike. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, Frizzy's trying to, trying to close it out right here. Oh, they both cancel it at the same time. Okay. Oh, both oh no. Mix up oh, no. That's going to be the round. Yeah, he's just flying around like, mm, you ain't going to catch me. Well, I'm glad we had a little bit of a chug, but I'm glad we can go to a one last round to decide this one. And getting the launcher, but oh, dropping the extension on the combo. Hey, you know what? We're just going to get it right back and get a launcher again. This time, nailing the tornado and the Shaheen slide. Are we going to see another Shaheen slide? No, the very smart mid into low. Really, really great decision making for Freezy. No, I will say shout outs to the story mode. I thought it was so cool when Kazuya and Jin fought and he started getting Mama June moves. <laughs> or Asuka moves. <laughs> They're Kazama clan moves. All right, here we are. We are two to one again, Shaheen up. This can be tournament point for Shaheen, but Eto easily can take this back. And also remember, Eto is on the loser's side. So if Eto can win the next two, they will reset it and get that run back that we desire. Shaheen getting the combo, getting the jet dash, and just kicking back and taking the advantage, but easily closing that round out. Ok, vámonos pues, que Shaheen ya se quiere llevar este torneo. Uf, vale. Lee muy bien ahí el slide, se lo cubre lo launchea. Uh, ok, Va vamos pues. Un medio, unos pokes ahí nada más para intentar acercarse. Thank you for the follow, guys. Welcome. Uf, vale. Vienen los mix-up de Shaheen y tenemos Heat Engager. ¡No! ¡Qué rancia! No funciona la hop kick. <risas> Counter hit para Devilton. Y tal vez lo dejen en ventaja. Un poquito nada más. Los dos ya tienen el hit activado. ¿Qué van a hacer aquí? Agarro nomás dos. No se lo quitan. No dropping. Not like this. Ok. Let's go. The mix-up. No. Nothing. Oh. And with the heat smash. Eso. Yeah, those the heat smash living and dying for Eto, either nailing them psychically very early or getting them right when he needs them. Not too many blocks on it. Great decision making. Now we're gonna see a slower pace of play. Maybe a little one one two, wash up, nothing risky here for Devil Jin. And just landing the heat engage. And the hop. Here we are, full combo. We're not dropping these this time. We're taking the safe enders. We need that guaranteed damage. The heat dash should be enough. Really great closeout for Shaheen when he needed it. Alright. Vamos a ver aquí. Uf, vale, ok. Está buscando Shaheen por donde entrar, pero no está encontrando el rango correcto. Oh my god, and the true okay? I'm going for a flow combo here. Ooh, okay, let's make some space here. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta be patient. Ooh, those slides coming out now. Another one? No, never mind. Just to go for the punish. It's not gonna work out though, and nor is it gonna work out that hop kick. Ooh, okay. Punish that. Let's go, we get it. Shaheen still has a rage. Ooh, okay, let's go. What a whiff punish. Is this gonna be it, maybe, with the heat? It could be it, maybe, maybe. Let's try it out. And there we go. Oh. Freezy is gonna close it out. What a combo. What a tournament, you guys. Freezy is gonna win. Ducks of War 7, congratulations to him. Canada takes it.